Hello, and thanks for being there. I'm Marty Radovanic. We've got more on the Luigi Mangione case. We've learned more about the defense against charges he's facing in Blair County. We've also heard more about what's happened in Altoona since he was arrested. Olivia Bosser is live in Huntington, where Mangione is being held in the state prison there, breaking down those new details. Olivia. Marty, we know him as the suspected gunman in a case that has gripped the nation. But here at SCI Huntington, Luigi Mangione is known as inmate number QQ7787. He and his attorney are fighting his extradition to New York. And in a petition filed with the court today, they're now fighting for his release. Earlier today, his attorney Tom Dickey filed a writ of habeas corpus arguing for his release from custody with or without bail and the extradition proceedings to be dismissed. He's arguing the Commonwealth has not proven that Mangione was in New York at the time of the shooting, that they have not proven Mangione committed the shooting, or that he is actually the fugitive law enforcement was looking for. Now, this filing does not mean Mangione will be released from custody, as a hearing will have to be held first to determine whether the Commonwealth has met their burden of proof to keep Mangione locked up. That hearing is scheduled to happen on December 30th, so for now we know that Mangione will remain here at SCI Huntington. We also know that he's being held in a cell by himself. Reporting live in Huntington, Olivia Bosser, WTAJ News. Olivia, thanks.